Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and as always, thank you so much for taking the time to tune in to my crazy ass. Welcome to my channel. First things first, uh, if you're new, uh, please hit the subscribe button. No, it means nothing to you, but to me it means the world because it helps my channel grow and it helps me help you. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help you. So if you're new to my channel, hello, I do videos on uh, astrology, tarot, the occult, psychology, life advice, movie reviews, and just kind of anything that I feel like I want to do that I feel called to. I just do whatever the fuck I want. I'm a free spirit, um, Sagittarius, Sun, Cus, Scorpio, and I am absolutely unafraid to say anything that I feel. I just say it like I see it. And so these videos don't come from a place of me being politically correct or worrying about how you feel about it because I don't give a fuck. I just tell it um, from my experience, from my heart, from my core, from my soul. And I don't like light and fluffy chat. So if you're going to leave a comment, make it juicy. Make it something that I can grow and learn from because we're not going to grow and learn from just telling each other how wonderful we are and keep up the good work and pat each other on the back all the time, even when the work is sloppy. So let's get on with this series. I have a couple more to go and then I've finished, but we are at the Capricorns, the kneecaps. I call them the kneecaps. That's where I look at Capricorns knees, strong or weak. Um, this is the drill sergeant of the Zodiac, the overachiever, the persistent, hardworking, um, you know, trying to make success look effortless. I know you Capricorn. Now I did do a light side and a dark sided series on Capricorn. So if you haven't checked that out, please go and have a look. The dark sided series was two parts because I felt that the first part wasn't hard enough. So I'm just going to come in straight up. Let's get into it. If you're a Capricorn out there, please no death threats. This is only coming from my experience. So I want to, first of all, unpack the concept of what this sign is. You know, we know that this sign can be very toxic. We know that they are very misunderstood. And in the 10th sign of the Zodiac, the day Saturday somehow always comes up around Capricorn for me. I'm not sure why that is. If you know, please let me know in the comments below. Um, we're talking about the sea goat. So first of all, a lot of people just see Capricorn as the goat. No, it's not just the goat. It's the sea goat. So we have two beings infused together that are in punishment of each other. Well, they have a heavy burden or a heavy cross to carry. And a lot of Capricorns have that. And they're used to things going wrong. They know that things will go wrong. And for Capricorn, that's generally how things go. That's just how it is. And I'll get onto that later in the video today. <sighs> Let me have a sip of the tea. So with the sea goat, we've got, we've got the goat, which is an animal that climbs to God. And then we've got which is looking for expansion in the journey, which knows that we have to work hard to, you know, get to the top of the mountain. And then we have the, the fish, which is a tail, which obviously is the ocean. It's the depths of hell, the depths of the darkness, the dark night of the soul. And these two are put together and now expected to go through life and achieve things and Basically, it's a case of the Capricorn or the goat kind of pulling itself up inch by inch, clawing its way through life. Um, I've never met a Capricorn that hasn't come from either a divorced parent, broken family, Capricorn that may have been raped, groomed, beaten, betrayed, manipulated. And, and they are very wary and very skeptical people. This is a very dry sign, very dry sense of humor. And a lot of them are kind of like, what's that saying? Um, <laughs> twice bitten, what is it? Once bitten, twice shy kind of thing. So fool me once, shame on me, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on you or shame on me kind of thing. It, it's that type of demeanor. And that's how they are. So they have a very dry sense of humor, which a lot of the time isn't taken well. Sometimes they just push things and take things way too far. 
Capricorn is about expansion. Now, I will say I love Capricorn. Please understand that I'm not, this is not me attacking you, Capricorn. I'm just sharing some, some of what the knowledge that I know is, um, is that you guys, look, you're just really inflexible. A lot of the time you're consumed by your own obligations. A lot of you guys are assholes and you're just stuck up and you come across as snobbish. You come across as entitled. You come across as bratty and uncaring and very quick to judge, but don't like being judged by others. Um, emotionally, the opposite of Capricorn is, well, on the wheel, the opposite of Capricorn is Cancer. So Cancer is going too far into the emotions where uh, Capricorn is basically like, I give you barely anything and then I expect the world in return. So a lot of them have really unrealistic expectations in relationships. A lot of them have like, you give me the world and I give you a crumb kind of thing. Um, so a lot of them end up very rich. Uh, they're very money focused. Uh, Scrooge, McDuck, Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge would have been a Capricorn. That character would have been a Capricorn. Um, and unfortunately, they are misunderstood. Now, I'm talking about the lower functioning Capricorns, the darker Capricorns, the ones that have very low sense of collective consciousness. They haven't figured out how to be of service to the world. So they want the world to be of service to them. But the key words to the seago is I use. So deep down, Capricorn wants to be useful and they want to be useful in a practical way. They want to be of service. And that's when Capricorns start to figure out life and who they are, when they are of service to the world. They offer something unique and special that their gift is, whether it's baking bread or they work at the bank or whatever it is, making shoes. Um, they provide a service and then someone else provides a service in return in an exchange of capital, Capricorn. Okay. I hope I'm not talking too fast. If you, if I am, I know I do sometimes. Um, I've just got a lot to get through today. So I'm just trying to keep this really straight to the point. Now I've had the time to get to know some Capricorns. And when you start to look a little bit deeper and you start to give them a bit more time and patience, uh, you're more caring and you take the time to really get to know them there is a deeper side to them. They're not always the businessman that's shrewd on Wall Street. Um, they do have a side to them that isn't as rigid and pessimistic as others would think. Although they do have a lot of hidden agendas, they're very plotting, they're very calculative. There is a sweeter side to them uh, that I have seen, but that would really depend on where their moon is the moon is who they really are and of course where their venus is so if there were for example a a capricorn sun with a say moon in cancer well that would be a really you know a more of a gentle or kind of practical capricorn if it was a double capricorn you're in trouble because yeah things things tend to go wrong around this sign and i've noticed that uh, in particular this is the sign that will run away from home. They will hurt the loved ones. They hurt people around them. They kind of declare, declare that they don't want any more friends and they push everyone away. They're very good at that. They're also very good at being fake as well. Um, they can turn it on when they want to and they want to control the narrative. So if you are a Capricorn, naturally you are an alpha. That's just kind of the natural gist of a Capricorn. I don't come across a lot of really sub, like subservient Capricorns unless they are like a moon in Pisces or something where they're more because a Pisces is a total sub. Um, but I don't come across a lot of like sub Capricorns. So they're into like pain. They don't like Capricorns, don't really like people that have had life too easy, where they've had everything kind of handed to them on a silver platter. Capricorn knows that you don't just get a medal for showing up. You have to earn it. You have to work through it. 
You've got to work through the problems, workshop the problems. And Capricorn, I'll give you some advice in terms of workshopping problems. Most of the time, you guys pick fights with things that aren't fucking there, okay? Who gives a fuck? Stop being distracted by nonsense and start channeling your energy into something that you can really do that is towards your gift of service to the world if you're willing to do the work. And I know that you are, all right? So I've learned that around, I've learned a lot from Capricorns um, and I actually have a lot of Capricorn in my chart, which is about kind of balancing time, energy and money. A lot of my problems in life come from these three things, time, energy and money. Uh, I did mention uh, one of my friends, Kelly Catrone, um, you may know of her, she's um, quite famous. At one point, she ran the biggest PR firm in the world in New York, The People's Revolution. She wrote a book, which I have a copy here, which is called, If You're Going to Cry, Take It Outside. A lot of um, Capricorn energy was in that book, which is very much about getting the job done, sucking it up, keep going, stay calm, stay on task, stay away from deceitful people, focus on productivity, get up in the morning and just kind of start. Now, that, that's Capricorn, okay? Just right there. They know that if you want to put their best effort forward, they have to show up with very high standards. Now, I don't mind that because I have very, very high standards in myself as well. In fact, I'm just going to be really honest with you. If I meet someone at a certain age in life and no matter where, no matter where their culture or station is positioned, um, if they haven't acquired a level of let's say financial stability, or if they haven't required, like acquired a level of deep connection to their path um, through truth, I probably won't really hang around and neither would, and neither would Capricorn. And also spiritually speaking, spirits and things like that on the other side won't be fucked with you either. If you're continuing to practice the same behavior that you did that drove people away. I hope that made sense. So yeah, they have an exhausting, uh, Capricorn have an exhausting like high standard level that they enforce on people, much like good old mate Virgo. Now I have publicly apologized if you have a Virgo parent or both of your parents were Virgos, um, good luck with the therapy bills, okay? Because they're going to be high. Uh, also with the Capricorn fathers, if you had a Capricorn father that never hugged you or told you that they loved you, please, please understand that it wasn't you, okay? It was not you. You didn't do anything wrong. They're just detached. That's just how they are. Some of them are actually happy on the inside, but they just don't show it. The only problem is when a Capricorn male gets older and they don't achieve those high standards that are impossible, like Virgo does to obtain, they kind of take that out on everyone else around them. So they take out their own internal frustration and self-hatred onto other people. A lot of Capricorns are very deceitful and they live in the past. A lot of them are always talking about their exes to the point where no one really like wants to hear it anymore. Um, A lot of them are very unforgiving. So if you are uh, if you know a Capricorn or your parent were, parents were Capricorns or whatever, if you had double Capricorn, I mean, it, it could be a very big problem. Um, but yeah, I, as I've told you before, most people aren't in tune with higher self. They're just operating on a lower, very low level of um, like connectivity. So they're not really able to understand cause and effect. And a Capricorn that is in resistance to cause and effect causes a lot of problems in other people's lives and in their lives as well, because Saturn, the ruling planet of Capricorn, is all about cause and effect. It's all about the nitty gritty stuff. I did a video um, my last, I think it was my last one where I talked about Saturn return. So also I've noticed being born under Saturn, the Saturn return for Capricorns are astronomical. They're so huge. It would be like their family could die suddenly in a fire or suddenly they have to go live in another country, um, which Capricorn can handle change in that way. Some of them are quite adaptable. They will meld into a new, um, into a new paradigm if they need to. 
Also, a lot of Capricorns come from families that can't provide them what they need. So Capricorns, rather than being a little bitch about it, they just go, okay, my mom's useless. She's an alcoholic. Okay, my dad's in jail, da, da, da. And I'm just going to cut them out, go no contact, get on with my life because they can't give me what I need. And there's no use me trying to knock on the castle door of that when the door will never, ever open. And I really, really respect that. If you're listening to me now and you're a Capricorn and you understand what I just said there, I, I, hey, 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 I get it. <laughs> I get it. There is nothing more painful in the world than living in your own internal suffering and then having other people not validate it because they can't relate to it, which usually they can't. And then knocking on the castle door or a door of something that you want someone to see it, no matter and, and, no, and no matter how much you show them, how much you love them, no matter how much you show them that you're the one for them, that you can really help them, that you've got the answers. If they are in resistance to the truth or they're in resistance to that information that you have for them, you can't do anything with it. The only thing that you can do is turn away and have the curiosity and the fortitude and the self-belief to know that you will find the connection that you want or the need will get met through a different avenue or with a different person. But wanting something to change its natural state, Capricorn, is the source of a lot of your problems. That's why it's good. Like I can just tell it to you straight now because I just, I don't, I don't really like, I don't care is that if I meet someone and you can't receive me and you haven't demonstrated to me that you can receive me and you can understand what I'm saying, then I, I can't buy. And I just walk out the door and I don't ever look back ever again, never again, because I know that it's like trying to tell my dog to be a cat. My, my dog is a dog. She is not a cat. She can't change who she is to be something in my head because I want her to be simply out of wanting her to be something isn't going to change what she is. There's only acceptance of what is. So Capricorn, a bit of advice there. I know I've gone on a little bit of a tangent there, but I think this applies to everyone in general. Um, what we tend to do in relationships or in reality is we enforce reality on other people that they never agree to. It all turns to shit and then we wonder why. Well, it's because they never agreed to it, all right? So I hope that made sense. Okay, Capricorn, you guys will spend hours planning and strategizing and thinking about stuff. A lot of the time you would just save yourself the headache and just if you just got out of that, um, I need to do it perfect. Perfectionism kills creativity. Perfectionism kills everything. It's not going to be perfect. I don't believe in 100% and neither should you and neither should you either Virgo, if you're listening and you're a Virgo, 100% doesn't exist. Life is challenge. Relationships are challenges. And the strength of those relationships will be determined by the level of willingness for both of you to hold each other and repair the ruptures that occur. Because that's the point of existence. Suffering. Suffering creates expansion. That's why, like I say, and like a Capricorn would say, when they meet someone and they can't relate to that person, it's nine times out of 10 because that person has shown them that they're not prepared to lift a finger or do anything about working through their own shit, or they just don't have a relationship to pain. And like we know with Capricorn, with the Saturn return, if there isn't any suffering, then there is no expansion. So Capricorn, you guys procrastinate. You guys love to procrastinate way too much. Get out of procrastination and just start. You know, like I get up in the morning, I turn the kettle on, I make myself a coffee, I get to my desk at 5.30 a.m., come up to six o'clock, I've made a start. You just kind of start. Just work with what you have. Stop waiting for the next thing to come around or for the next like inspirational moment to occur. It's not going to happen. All right. You just go with what you have right now. And that's all you can do from where you are right now. That's it. And you'll save a lot of time rather than thinking about stuff. Just try, you know, just start, you know, that's the best thing I could say to them. And now, okay. Good news about Capricorn is once they've made up their mind on someone, it's very, very difficult to persuade the Capricorn. The goat, the goat part of them is very, very tough. And this is a great thing if the Capricorn is right. 
but it's a terrible thing if the Capricorn is wrong. So trying to convince them otherwise won't work. Capricorns are not concerned with gossip or what's happening with the Karens of the world, what's happening in the office with what she said and he's fucking her and he's doing that. They don't give a fuck about that. Capricorns are focused on their own mission, on their own goals, and they will go that extra mile to achieve their goals. A lot of the time, they're not interested in going down the pub and having a drink and having cocktails with the girls. These guys don't have time and energy for, for new friends. They see friendships as business arrangements. And it's like, if you give me this, I can give you that. That's how a relationship works with a Capricorn. And I actually don't mind that myself personally, because I understand that relationships on a basic level, really at the bottom line are some level of arrangement. We are in this together. So we're working as a team. So I'll do this for you. You do this for me. And that's how it is. But if you show to the Capricorn that you are lazy or you are unwilling to do the work and you just want to lay in bed and expect the Capricorn to like bring them like bring tea in and make them breakfast in bed, forget it. That's not going to happen. You need to get out there and have the same level of passion and determination that the Capricorn does for them to feel that that relationship is equal. Very important in a relationship for a Capricorn to come home from work and they are traditionalists, a lot of them. They're not into this wokey shit. So a lot of them will come home. They like the traditional, I go out and I'm bringing home the bacon and you're cooking the bacon. So when they come home, the house better be clean. The dishes better be done. The dog shit better be picked up in the backyard. The pool better be clean. Everything's got to be tidy, neat and organized and correct. Or don't even bother. All right. I don't mind that. I don't have a problem with that. Capricorn a lot of the times will take up fault in other people as a way of deflecting fault from themselves. So if you can find a Capricorn that can just say, hey, look, I was wrong, just like the Taurus, the quicker that they fail and admit it, the better, because then we can just get on with it. Now, they don't let you into their inner thoughts. They're very stoic in that way. So you don't really know what they're feeling or what they're thinking. But please know that this sign does have emotions. They are there. They just don't really feel like overly sharing everything that goes on in their head. Sometimes they do go ice cold. When a Capricorn goes ice cold, like kind of like ice cubes running through their like fucking veins or something, that's when we've got a big problem. All right. And they're probably already on to, you know, plan B. Like I have told you before, Humans are hypergamous, so we, we date up, we don't date down. Capricorn has no problem in dating up. They are not interested in a loser, all right? They don't want a loser. Capricorn women, just going to say it straight. I know this is anti-feminist, don't really care. Um, they will go for a male of very high value. And like I'm talking like they'll go to the bars where football players hang out, where NRL players go, basketball players go. They want to date a doctor, a surgeon, a lawyer. A lot of Capricorns are lawyers or they're in some level of real estate or on the stock exchange. These guys are high achievers. They want like a house to them is just another collection to their bubble, to their bubble collection kind of thing. Like that's what it is. They'll go to the bar, titties out hair done up to the nines, looking absolutely you know, on point because they're trying to attract a high value male. That's why she's going there, right? So that's just what they do. Um, if you took a Capricorn to McDonald's or if you took them somewhere on the side of the road for like a, you know, street food, it, it's not really going to like, the, the level of money and energy and materiality that you exchange with them, they see that as a sign of interest, same with the Leos. And sometimes that isn't really a bad thing either. You know, like at some point you have to get into being an adult. Um, so I hope that made sense. So if you want to connect with a Capricorn, you have to be goal orientated even better if you can build a business together and work together. If you come from a place where you don't have any love in your life or any stability and you need someone around you all the time, this is not the sign for you. Capricorns need a lot of uh, alone time. They need a lot of time to be alone. So they'll have mass amounts of 
going out to festivals, going out to public places, and then mass amounts of staying home alone, no talking in silence with the door locked. That's just how they do. They take on a lot of life's blame and a lot of life's responsibility. They're very brutal with how they analyze themselves. Uh, So they put a lot on their own shoulders a lot of the time. And they push things to the spiritual limit. The cold hard truth about Capricorn, a lot of them, Capricorn men are very kinky. And like I said, coming out of Sagittarius, which is all about the taboo and pushing limits, Capricorn is also the same. It's just how they are, okay? Um, They don't trust people that don't take care of themselves. So a lot of people that don't put in the work, put in the effort, they don't really see that as a high value option and um, they will move on to a better option. That's just how they are. They like to sit at the head of the dinner table. Um, I remember Capricorn man, he used to always have to sit at the end of the table. And uh, now Capricorns can be quite patient. They will wait. Okay. They're a bit like the earth sign Taurus. They, they wait, they'll wait around. Like they're not going to wait forever, but they will give you some time. They're not fast paced like Aries or a fast paced Sagittarian, they, they sometimes do like to take their time and are more like a traditional Capricorn likes to go on dates. They like to court, they like to go to movies and go to dinners and kind of ease into the connection, not just jump straight into bed or like hiring a prostitute or something like that. A lot of Capricorn women um, are prostitutes. They see nothing wrong with that. They understand that you're offering a service. They see no problem with that. And they're, but the problem is they're very focused on their money, very, very, very focused on the money. So they will go through suffering to get that money because they understand that there was an exchange on the wheel that took place in order to get a lot. Capricorn knows you have to give a lot. All right. So that's kind of how it is. Uh, some Capricorns appear to be quite scary or a very kind of um, their interaction with the world gets really kind of confused. They're very misunderstood. I know some Capricorns that are very polite. They're very softly spoken. They're very generous. Um, and uh, they're the ones that I kind of gravitate towards. I have no problem. I'd have no problem dating a Capricorn either. So I hope that made sense. I hope, <laughs> I hope if you're out there and you're getting this, um, that this is helping you if you are listening and you're a Capricorn. Hello. <laughs> Capricorns are very serious as kids. They age backwards. So a lot of them need to just learn to chill out a little bit. Um, but I like the energy of being on a mission, like very goal fixed. They're very fixated. When they're in love, they really want you to be the one. So same as Scorpio, kind of like the T-1000 <laughs> from like Terminator 2 Judgment Day, like that, the Terminator, he would be like the T-1000, you know, the liquid metal one, he'd be a Capricorn. He's on a mission to kill. He's on a mission to destroy and he's not going to give up. He's merciless. You know, that type of thing. Capricorns are great businessmen. They're very good at very shrewd. They're going to come into a business meeting. They're going to take control. They're going to have the pleasantries. I'll offer you a cookie or a biscuit, and then they're going to get into business. They're not here to fuck around. They're not here to fuck spiders. In a business situation, they will basically fuck you up. You'll walk out of the meeting thinking you came out on top when you lost the battle completely, and they walked away with everything. So a lot of them are lawyers. Once they understand how the world works, they understand how law works, they will manipulate law and bend things around them to their will. That's a very mischievous side of them, but they've done the time, they put in the effort. A lot of Capricorns hate school. They see school as like childcare. They see it as a waste of time. Um, They'd rather go to like the school of life, like hustle school. These guys are hustlers, lots of get rich quick ideas. They love wearing suits, business ties. They love dressing up, looking stylish, get letting someone polish their shoes. Very much like that. Think of the movie Predator. That would be a Capricorn type of vibe there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Not in a terrible way. 
Good thing about Capricorn, they're not afraid to take risks. They know if there is no risk, there is no reward. So they don't go for low-hanging fruit, okay? They don't want the ugly fat one. They want the pretty one, the strong one, the fast one. Same as the females, they don't want the old sick one. They want the young hot one that's going to you know, be able to provide and rare babies, Capricorn women are very capable women. I have a respect for them. This They'll have multiple kids. They will balance those kids, the raising of the kids, the kids on the knee, got a pot of stew, soup on the stove, on the phone to Telstra, sorting out bills and problems. They just take it on their stride. They shut their mouth, they do the work, and they show up on time. Capricorn women are very strong. If, but the best thing that a Capricorn woman could do for herself is open a business for herself where she is the business. That's the best advice I can give a Capricorn woman. They don't like working for other people. They're not interested in playing social ladders and gossiping and hierarchical bullshit or sleeping with the boss to get the job that or the pay rise. They want to be there because of them, their hard work and dedication to their craft. So they know they don't want to cheat, right? But some Capricorns, a dishonest Capricorn, knows that the system that they're playing in is already rigged and they will do everything they can to cheat and evade rules. Um, a, lot of ta- a lot of tax evasion happens around Capricorns. Secret bank accounts no one knows about. They're very secretive with their money. Like Taurus, uh, money makes them feel safe. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Uh, they love routine. Lots of Capricorns, they love routine and they don't care. They see it well as wisdom, but sometimes it's not. It's just kind of doing the same thing on a loop. Um, they don't want leftovers, but yet at the same time, they're not really leaders. I don't see Capricorns as leaders. I used to watch a show as a kid called Beast Wars and there was a character called Rhinox. He was like the guy on the computer that was very strong and dependable. And it turned out in a fight, in a battle, Rhinox was actually stronger than Optimus Prime. That's a Capricorn. They have a a strength about them that you may not see it, but the strength of their punch could smash your skull in, right? Same as the Taurus. They're slow to provoke, but once they are provoked... You probably won't wind up alive after they're done with you. So um, a lot of them, they know how to pack a punch. Let's put it, <laughs> let's put it that way. Uh, Muhammad Ali was a beautiful um, Capricorn. And it's all about trials and tribulations. They get put in jail. They get arrested. They get oppressed. A lot of people that have gone and done jail time or had to rebuild from nothing all Capricorn. Once you get it, it gets ripped out of your hands. Then you've got to start again. Then you had this lover, then they leave you. Then you got to start again. It's really kind of like a lot of rebirths happen around, um, a lot of heartbreak happens with Capricorn. And if you're listening right now and you're nodding your head like, yes, yes, yes. (laughs) I understand. Um, I understand you guys. Yeah. You guys are good at making decisions too. You're really good at making decisions. Um, an insecure Capricorn person would dump their partner if they lost their job because that would make them feel insecure. If their mum can't buy them what they want, they'll find someone else who can as a kid. They're very strategic like that. Um, it's just kind of how they are. Um, but yeah, I hope that this is all kind of, you know, sinking in. It's a lot to a lot to kind of put out there about this sign. They have a sovereignty about them and if they can get out of their own self-sabotage, this sign really can do incredible things. Prince of Persia, the uh, Xbox game, uh, I remember you, I used to play. <laughs> uh, that that character is very much Dustin, I think his name was. That would be a Capricorn. They're very good problem solvers, puzzle solvers. They're very strong upper body strength, um, strong legs in the body. They could run up the side of a wall and do a backflip and catch an arrow and jump over pits of poison barbs. Very, very good like that. They can see a situation or a scenario unfolding before it happens. Very strong muscle coordination on a physical level. A lot of Capricorns have square shaped heads. I've noticed as well. They tend to stay away from big social circles. They prefer just to have one or two or three because that's all that they have time and energy for. Like I said, it's all about time, energy, and money. Capricorns don't like going over the same thing again and again. That gets really tired really quick. 
but these guys are dry, 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 okay? When they come to their humor, it isn't going to be for everyone. But if you, can, <laughs> if you can appreciate the humor, then, you know, that's what it is. A lot of them end up in the army. A lot of Capricorns are like drill sergeants, um, very good on like discipline and, you know, just self-work, self-obtaining, um, you know, like a unicorn. You've got to fail nine times to get the wish to come true or whatever it is. You know, most of them are like black sheeps in the family. People don't understand them. But you need to understand pain to understand this sign. That's why I'd say Scorpio is probably a good match for a Capricorn. It wouldn't be a bad match. Um, but yeah, anyway, this was the cold hard truth on the Capricorns. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Once again, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I've got a really exciting announcement, which I'll be doing in my next video. So please stay tuned and I will see you next time around. Bye, 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 bye.